Hello, and welcome to Seeing What You're Missing. In this brief three video series, we're going to go over some of the brand new features and highlight the improvements in Altium Designer. If you're still using older versions of Altium Designer, this series will enable you to see how the tool has evolved. We're going to cover a few important changes that you're missing out on, such as the new GUI and panels, routing features, the new layer stack manager, and Draftsman for improved documentation. In addition, there are new supported types of PCB projects. In this video, we'll talk about the updated interface and the new panels that you can utilize in the latest version of Altium Designer. Let's jump into the tool. The first thing you'll notice is the new color scheme. The darker colors provide a modern look and help ease eye strain. With the new GUI come several changes worth looking at. For starters, quick access to the Properties panel can be found here by clicking on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner. Here we can make edits and customize the tool to suit our needs. You can switch back to the lighter color scheme if you'd like. Just note that you'll have to restart the tool for this change to take effect. To sign in and pull licenses, click on the Person icon. This drop-down menu is your window to licensing and updating the tool and its extensions. Here you find the familiar License Manager window, where you can sign in and select the license of your choice. And as before, through the Extensions and Updates tab, you can ensure your tool is always up to date. Altium Designer 19 is all about feature and performance enhancements. One non-obvious upgrade is the switch from 32-bit to 64-bit executables starting with Altium Designer 18. This was one of the most requested features and it allows for larger designs. In addition, it comes with support for multi-threading for improved performance. The project-based schematic-driven PCB design flow that you all know and love continues as does the underlying unified data model tying it all together. Altium Designer maintains backward compatibility with designs captured in previous versions of Altium Designer. So what, other than performance and the look and feel, has improved? Let's take a quick look. In older versions of Altium Designer's components could be edited by double-clicking and opening up a separate window that restricted the rest of the tool until it was closed. The Properties panel, which you can find through the Panel button, is the new solution for editing component properties without breaking the flow of the rest of your project. If you look at the schematic with nothing selected, you can see the sheet information. Through the Properties panel, you can change the grid or snap distance and even alter the color of the sheet. Selection filtering is one of the most powerful tools of the Properties panel. Using the Selection filter, we can narrow the scope of what we select. With all objects selected, the tool will select everything in the design. Clicking it clears it so that we are now free to be specific with which elements we want to grab. I often use this selective filter to limit selecting tracks or vias when editing in a crowded section of the PCB, to avoid having to multi-click on possible selection options when the filter is not set. The design process in Altium Designer has seen a lot of changes especially in the latest version. The Components panel replaced the Libraries panel, providing the user with a fuller view of components. In addition, the very powerful Manufacturer Search panel allows for fine-grained searching for and bringing in of new components to the design. The Active Toolbar provides quick access to the tools we use most. Let us take a quick look at these new features. The Components panel offers full details of the selected components component comparison, and a filter-based parametric search capability for managed components. It functions much like the library panel, but provides more information and in a single view. With schematics, it is used for placing components for various sources. We can add integrated libraries to the triple dot icon and the file-based library preferences window, where you can add, enable, or disable libraries. The Manufacturer Search Panel is a powerful tool for bringing new components into the library. In this panel, you will find parts through a generic type search or the manufacturer's part number. Numerous parts here can be used and edited if necessary to suit your needs through the Properties panel. With this surface mount resistor, for example, we can edit the instance designator, change comments, and edit parameters and pins for this component. 
Another new feature that has improved the design process is the Active Toolbar. This provides a quick access to the most common functions in the schematic and PCB views. It is customizable and an immense time saver. Hopefully you're getting a feel for what the newest version of Ultium Designer is capable of, as well as how it can improve your workflow. In the next video, we'll do a deeper dive into some of the new and improved Altium design features.